What's shaking, BHS? I'm Nora. And I'm Thomas. We have three blazing stories today on the school store, boys basketball, and the upcoming Sadie's Dance. The school store started out down in the G-Wing of the school, but moved to its current location near the Mraz Center three years ago. Here's Christina with more information on how you can get your blaze gear at school supplies. Have you ever wanted to go to a school store and wonder what they have? Well, you should check our school store out because they have most of our needs, including supplies, hoodies to keep us warm, and other accessories. Um, it's really the only place that you can find um, stuff with Blaze logos on it. That's pretty cool. Most students and staff visit the school store, but you can also buy it online at isc191.org slash bhs and click on bhs store. I like the school store because they have hoodies that keep you toasty for the winter. Don't know what to buy? Ask the person who works for the school store on opinions. I would say the Under Armour. Blaze Under Armour is really popular. Or these jerseys from Blaze and Jays. Stop on by the school store. They are usually open before and after school. This is Christina Park reporting for Blaze Weekly. Thanks, Christina. Look for a Design Your Own T-shirt contest at the school store coming next week. The boys' basketball team's season is just beginning, and the team's roster has a combination of youth and experience. Clay visited a team practice to find out more about this year's squad. Burnsville basketball has always had a strong tradition of winning. It's a tradition that second-year coach Matt Eppen wants to continue. Well, I think the uh, basketball program at Burnsville has, has had a pretty good tradition, especially in the last uh, 10 years. I think it's been uh, founded on kids playing pretty hard, and, and um, you know that, uh, that effort and that enthusiasm has led to some results. Burnsville's tradition took a hit last season with a 12 and 14 record, with a lot of young talent and looking forward to a strong season. The boys basketball team, we're going to have a pretty solid year this year. We got a lot of young talent, you know, it's going to develop over the season. The team finished seventh in the South Suburban Conference last season, but Captain Zach Maxson thinks that's going to change. Our goals are that we improve during the season and we don't have any major setbacks and we keep getting better. The team lost a tough game to three-time defending state champion Hopkins, but they're still looking forward to a great season. Come watch them Tuesday against Eden Prairie. Signing off for Blaze Weekly, this is Clay Hurlba. Thanks, Clay. The team's next game is at home against number two team in the state, Eden Prairie, on Tuesday. You girls better saddle up for Sadie's because all them stallions are running away. Here's Emma with tips and tidbits on asking a guy to Sadie's. Tickets will be sold in all lunch bags starting December 7th. They'll be $10 or $8 with a non-perishable food item. All proceeds will be going to bring power in the back. Thanks, Andy, for those details on Sadie's. Hmm. I wonder how I should have some my guy to see. I would like a girl to customize a fortune cookie. It would be really awesome if someone asked me over the intercom. Well, I personally would like a girl to jump out of a cake. Um, if I were to be asked, I'd like her to make me a pizza, make a heart with a pepperoni, and put Sadie's on it. The best way to ask me to Sadie's would be to get one of those planes in the sky. And not the ones that like pull the banner, that's cheap. You gotta get the plane that writes in the clouds. Will you go to Sadie's with me, Mr. Feig? And ask my wife. And she'd probably say yes, so then I go to Sadie's with you. <laughs> I'm Emma Fisher for Farm for Plays Weekly. Hey, Brandon De La Fonte, will you go to Sadie's with me? Thanks, Emma. The Sadie's dance is only two weeks away, so ladies, it's time to start asking for a date. That's all we have for you today, BHS. Watch Please Weekly next Thursday. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend in this winter wonderland.